Hello everyone, today I'm going to uh, run some project in uh, Amazon SageMaker in order to uh, build a training model uh, and use this model uh, by API uh, through uh, building a Lambda function. Uh, um, I don't know if, uh, if you already uh, work with Amazon SageMaker or not. Uh, it's a new, uh, it's another feature of uh, AWS uh, that uh, has a built-in uh, notebook inside the EC2. So if you are planning uh, to work with some uh, big data or doing some uh, complicated uh, like uh, computation or uh, something that uh, needs uh, a lot of uh, time and also uh, needs a lot of money, this is a very a uh, good approach uh, that can uh, make the uh, computation very faster and also uh, simpler and uh, less cost. In order to uh, work with uh, Amazon SageMaker, uh, we first uh, need to uh, create uh, a notebook instances uh, in here. Uh, so uh, when you uh, add for creating the notebook, you can just uh, type a name uh, for the uh, notebook and then here you can uh, define your instance type uh, based on the uh, complexity of your analysis and also uh, based on the cost of different uh, machine you can uh, define uh, what machine is best works for you uh, and also here you can define the other parameters as like uh, VPC, IAM role uh, and uh, others so since I've already uh, created uh, my uh, notebook uh, I just uh, going to uh, work on with that but this is the process of uh, creating a notebook instances so after you create a notebook uh, you can uh, like define different files and uh, run your project and in here I am trying uh, to work uh, with a um, breast cancer data set uh, in order to do that uh, first uh, I need uh, to import I, I am working with a uh, Python uh, kernel in uh, my Jupyter notebook uh, and uh, in order to do that uh, first I need to install some I mean import some uh, important uh, libraries from Python such as uh, OS, uh, Boto3, uh, SageMaker and so on as you can see uh, then uh, I uh, uh, get the URL of my uh, data set that I am trying to work with and in this uh, project I am working with a uh, breast cancer data set uh, from a UCI website uh, and uh, after uh, I got my uh, data uh, I can just uh, read it as a, a CSV file using pandas library and here you can see the different feature of my data uh, and the data is showing the uh, different information from the tumor uh, such as uh, clump thickness, unif uh, uniformity of cell size and so on and the uh, output showing the class of the tumor which is going to be uh, like binary output uh, whether is it malignant or benign which is here is defined by 204 and 2 means benign and 4 means uh, malignant so uh, uh, in order to uh, work with this data as a prediction model we have to create uh, some training and testing data for example I select 60% of my data as a training uh, and the rest as testing also we have to define the uh, label of uh, data which in here is the class for both training and testing and uh, in order to be able to uh, SageMaker we have to convert our uh, Python uh, format uh, of I mean like data uh, frame format of our data into the uh, SageMaker format so here is uh, the function that we are using uh, to uh, make this conversion um, and uh, also uh, after we convert data into the uh, SageMaker format here we can uh, create uh, our role for this data uh, I mean what type of job we are going to do that we are uh, defining our linear uh, training program uh, which is um, define uh, the linear job with the number of, I mean the instance type that we are trying to use uh, and also here we are uh, showing the path that we are going to save our training uh, input data uh, uh, which after you, you have to create uh, the S3 bucket first and then uh, create this path for the uh, saving your data uh, also uh, we have to uh, show the 
output data configuration, uh, which is here, as you can see, uh, showing the uh, different path of the data. Uh, here also show the uh, more specification of our model, which is binary classification. Uh, here showing the number of future dimension, uh, which is the data we, we are going to uh, build a prediction model, uh, and the number of replication that we have to, uh, repl uh, I mean, um, replicate our model uh, to get the result. Uh, and uh, after uh, we build uh, our model, we uh, also uh, need to uh, create a host that this host is kind of container that just give us a, a, an endpoint that we use this endpoint uh, to be able uh, to uh, build our Lambda function and call it uh, using um, API. Uh, so here, after uh, we create, uh, this is going to be uh, the name of our endpoint. Uh, and after we create um, this host, uh, we will uh, receive uh, this endpoint. And using this endpoint will uh, help us uh, to uh, do the prediction by using the rest of the data. So here uh, we uh, run uh, the like uh, testing uh, model uh, using the um, test prediction. Uh, and here we also calculate the error of our data. Uh, and uh, here also showing us uh, the accuracy of our prediction model, which is 98.2%, which is very good result. Uh, and this is also a view of uh, our testing data. So uh, after we got the uh, endpoint, uh, we need uh, to uh, build a lambda function uh, which could uh, allow us uh, to invoke uh, our uh, endpoint from uh, Amazon SageMaker and uh, use this uh, endpoint uh, by API. So after we receive the endpoint uh, from Amazon SageMaker, we need to call this endpoint by API. To do so, we have to create a Lambda function that uh, kind of make this uh, connection available between uh, SageMaker and API. So to create a Lambda function, we need to uh, find the Lambda in uh, AWS main menu. And then we add create function. Here, we have to select the name. For example, this cancer test. And here uh, we need to uh, define uh, the runtime in I mean the in kernel that you want to run it. Uh, and here, because we want to uh, add uh, another um, availability to the uh, I mean uh, we want to add another policy to IAM, so we have to uh, create a custom rule because we want to uh, make it um, available to invoke. Uh, a new uh, endpoint from the SageMaker. So we have to make some amendment here. For example, you have to uh, add this line to the policy. As you can see here, that shows the effect means hello, uh, action SageMaker invoke endpoint. Then we uh, click on the hello page and then uh, after we select that, the lambda basic function, we can uh, create uh, our function. So after uh, we create uh, our lambda function in here, uh, we have to uh, find the function of our model in the function part. Again, we have to uh, copy paste uh, the code from here. Sorry. put it here and also uh, for uh, here for the environment variable we have to create our endpoint as a name as a key and also the value the value of our endpoint that in here I will just see the key I will define the name of this So after I create them, uh, I put the function name and everything. I can just uh, create my uh, lambda function. Uh, and after I create my function, I just need to uh, create uh, the API uh, 
and to do so I will just go to the APIs in AWS uh, and then I create for the API and would I would say like like I don't know uh, cancer test as the API name or like prediction model then I create my API and here after I create the name I need to create the resource for my resource is cancer um, sorry cancer it should be the same name then I create my resource then I add the create method and in here I added post so after I add post here, I have to um, put the name of my uh, Lambda function, which I have it here as a breast cancer test. So I would add the uh, name of my Lambda function as breast cancer test, and I save it as my new uh, API so then I have to uh, also I need to deploy my API um, like uh, I put it as final stage and stage name means final for example and I create my fix so this is the URL of my API that uh, I will explain to you how I can access to the result of this page but here I, I just wanted to show you how to test my result uh, I have to just add the name of the uh, some uh, code for example here I can show you the sample uh, test I just paste it as a sample record of the data and we want to see how this is going to be work on our model and as you can see here it's give me the result which is benign it means that the having these parameters of the tumor show us that the uh, cancer is benign after uh, we uh, uh, try this uh, example uh, using uh, this data uh, we can also uh, try to uh, use a URL into the uh, other uh, like command window uh, to, to be sure that we will get the uh, I mean our data is going to work so here we just need to copy the URL and then uh, add the request uh, command uh, and here this is uh, the sample data that we just put it as an input and here we also need to remove the URL address from the previous API that I worked with and then okay this is the address and also this is the name of uh, my API so when I uh, run this I just need to see the content and here you can see for uh, this data, which is uh, the same here, I show you the different example. Uh, we have uh, the malignant tumor, uh, which is M. And here, if you go to the resources uh, as a post and try to like copy paste the same data as here. When you run that you will get the same result so I hope uh, this uh, tutorial would help you uh, to go through step by step and uh, create your own uh, API and uh, lambda function and uh, using uh, some of the built uh, model from SageMaker uh, and uh, to test your result uh, so uh, thank you so much uh, for the listening